Hi guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for being here. I really do appreciate. Um, thank you guys also for waiting on me. I know these sit down videos have taken forever. I also want to apologize for the echoiness. I'm a hundred percent sure this video is so echoey and I'm sorry about that. Echoey, like it sounds like there's an echo. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. The reason is that I'm moving out of this room and I'm slowly packing things up. And the more I pack and then take the things to the garage, it just sounds empty. So I'm sorry. Please bear with me until I move out. I'm so sorry, guys. Please bear with me. So I don't know if you guys have watched my Zanzibar, Tanzania travel vlogs. Guys, if you have not watched them, please go and watch them. I had so so much fun doing the videos i had put so much effort into them i enjoyed doing them i enjoyed taking them and i enjoyed editing them it was so much fun um so please go have a watch maybe you also have more insight into what i'm talking about in this video um so what happened is in one of the vlogs in two out of the six vlogs um from the tanzania zanzibar Dar es Salaam vlogs one i reviewed nungui dreams and the other one i reviewed eskezalu now these are the two hotels that i stayed at when i was in zanzibar and I did promise you one in the Eskezalu one that I would pit the two against each other and I would explain to you and let you know which one I thought was worth your money. What, what is worth your coin? I mean, I know what was worth my coin, but I'd like to pit them out against each other and then be objective about it and let you know what's up. I thought I was going to do like two separate videos, but three separate videos like Nungu Dreams review, Eskezalu review and then pitting them against each other. but. The truth is, when you go back to those vlogs, especially the Nungu Dreams one and the Eskazali one, I show you the room, I show you the um, I show you all these things, and I basically tell you what I feel when I'm in the moment. And for me, when I watched the vlogs back, it felt like I had actually given you all the information that I would want to know from the, you know, from a place. I don't, does that make sense? Yes, <laughs> that's what I meant. So please go back, watch them, and then when you're done. Please come back so we can pit the two against each other and I can let you know what is what Okay, so when you arrive, you want to be pampered, you want to feel great, you want to feel like, okay, I've reached paradise, that's what you want. So when we arrived at Nungu Dreams, um, the potters came, they took our bags, took them to the room, we were welcomed um, with drinks. I don't remember what drink it was. We checked in and did all that. We had gotten the place via booking.com, so it took literally maybe five to ten minutes to check in. It was quick, quick, and then we were in our room, and the holiday had begun, basically. Um, on the other hand, in Eskezalu, Eskezalu from Nungu is literally a walking distance, so on the next day, on the next day when we were supposed to move, we literally walked all the way to Eskezalu. And when we arrived there, they did tell us that we'll check in at, I think, 2 o'clock. Um, we arrived at Eskezalu at around 12.31 and they had not been done with the rooms or anything. But that's not even the problem. When we got there, we sat down. They did give us welcome drinks, thank the Lord. Nice and cool. It, it felt good. Um, <laughs> those cool drinks do save your life, though. Um, and they gave us the drinks. The only problem is that check-in took maybe 30 to 45 minutes. Literally, it takes a long time for them to check them out. Now, I'm not saying that there's a problem with this. I've seen this happen a lot, especially like with the bigger hotels. They take much longer to check you in. It's quite a process. It's just different versus if it's a small boutique hotel, then check-in is it's chop chop. It's very easy. Um, so that was a bit of a bummer but what bummed me the most is the rooms were not done until four o'clock you're supposed to check in at two o'clock and at four o'clock the rooms are not ready so we were just hanging around doing nothing and they didn't let us know that the rooms were ready so not even they didn't let us know the rooms were not ready so for me that was a bummer you might arrive at Eskazalu and your room may or may not be ready depending on the situation so for me that was not it was not cool. I didn't like that uh, fact about it. In terms of reception, I think Nungu Dreams re received us much better than Eskazalu did. Eskazalu felt a bit more impersonal and I would like to attribute it to the fact that it's a big hotel. It's a big hotel versus Nungu Dreams being more of a boutique style, more intimate kind of hotel. Tomorrow, 
when we went to Nungu Dreams, and I'm not lying to you guys, when we landed there, we were just making friends, like friends, friends. I was just making friends so quickly. The people were so friendly. They were curious to know, you know, oh, what are you about? What are you doing? Can we show you? Do you need help? Like, they were so willing to help. They were so friendly. They were so kind. I mean, one of the guys, um, I mean, we had gone there in the evening and we wanted to swim, but the pool closes at six o'clock or they stop allowing people into the pool after six o'clock and the guy was like you know what i'm gonna procrastinate putting in the chlorine and the medication the treating stuff just for you guys to go in and swim and i was just like wow like he, he knew we had one night there and he was like i want you guys to experience the pool that kind of service is not found anywhere like it's not not anywhere it's not found everywhere let me say that so for me it was something that i was very um happy about how they treated us the next day when we were going, the, you know, they said bye. And by the time we we're leaving, I don't even get people's names on the day to day. But when we we're leaving, I was like, okay, bye, Peter, bye, Jane. See you next time, Philip. It was so easy to make friends with them. And for me, that's what I would want from a place. If I'm going to visit a place or if I'm going to stay in a hotel, I want to know people. I want to make friends. I want people to be kind to me and I want to be kind to people. So yeah, when I went to Eskazalu, it was not the same. It was impersonal. Like I said, it was just there and i don't say that the people there are bad or that there were anything i just feel it's not personal so it could be preference maybe you just don't want people up in your business and you want people to mind their business and you want to mind your business and maybe eskazali is a place for you they literally mind their own business um <clears throat> in terms of like them responding to requests i felt like nungu dreams was way faster than eskazalu again i probably attribute it to the numbers um, equation and situation so I don't know I was very very happy like it, the service just how they made me feel in Nungui dreams would just make me go back just that alone like not even beating about the bush they were very kind to me and I'm very appreciative of that plenty, plenty, plenty. the rooms I'm gonna say this, they all get let me think four stars <laughs> I'm not gonna give them five and I have issues with them now first of all the rooms to me were equal but different so i felt like the eskezalu was more rustic it had thatch roof it had like some wooden stuff on the ceiling whereas nungu dreams was a bit more modern and simplistic and just clean um of course being a millennial i like that clean white modern kind of vibe whereas other people preferred the eskezalu rustic thatch roof I'm on an island kind of vibe. I don't even like those touch roofs because all I see in them is just geckos. So no, thank you, ma'am. <laughs> so in terms of the rooms, um, cleanliness was pretty much the same, except I felt like Eskazan was slightly more cleaner than... Actually, they were clean. Both were clean and there were just things I didn't like about both of them. And the one thing I remember about Nungu Dreams that I didn't like was that there was, like I think, a moth or something. One of these flying insects that creates cocoons because there's a cocoon on the curtain so one of those insects that create those cocoons had created something on one of the on the curtains so for me that was lack of cleanness but other than that it was perfectly clean um yeah so the rooms same but very very different so i can't really put them against each other it just depends on what kind of vibe you want as far as it goes in terms of ambience for me i feel like if you want something intimate i would say go to nungu gyms but if you want something more i want to hang out with my friends and family and all that um pizzazz then maybe go to eskezalu but on the other hand you need to take note if you're with friends and family nungu gyms is not just like a hotel hotel what happened is the rooms kind of have like it's like a unit and i believe they had wanted or intended for each to be self catering units so like ours was like there was a unit downstairs but was sh there was somebody else who was upstairs we did not even meet the people who were sharing the room with i don't even know who they were we never crossed paths but we had a communal lounge and we had a kitchen so in terms of okay maybe you want to be in the same room like maybe people who have children you want to be in the same room then maybe nungu dreams is the one for you because eskazalu i think is very different you might have to like have one room for the kids and one room for the for the parents like separately but this one was like one whole unit so you get into one room it's completely separate and then you go upstairs and another room that's completely separate so there's that to factor in so but otherwise i must say in terms of ambience if you want something more intimate something more less noisy something more you know come i don't know like something more of this 
more intimate more compact more cozy then go for nungu dreams if you if you want something more out there i'm young and i have all this life to me go to eskazan the typical cost when I was checking for Nungui, you know, for Eskazalu, the cost on the internet is about 7,000 Rand. It was doing, so I'm assuming that's maybe $550, $550 and up. But we paid $200 per night. Um, whereas in Nungu Dreams, we paid $300 per night. Now, if we had not had the offer, we would have paid $550 a night. So Eskazalu is generally more expensive, but it's just that we had a wedding deal that the whole thing was much, much cheaper. So yeah, I I would still think that if, even Nungu Dreams being cheaper, I thought it was, yeah, better for me. I don't know, it just made more sense. So yeah, $550 in real life versus 300 but if you have a wedding someone has invited you there go to Escazalo. it's gonna be much much cheaper but just book your tickets early so you can get the cheaper room or the better room and just to add on to that cost um thing they did upgrade our room from a normal garden one to a superior garden one something to that effect so they did upgrade us and i am very thankful for that in terms of what you can do, both hotels are pretty much the same. They have pools, they have uh, pool bars, they have restaurants, they have pretty much the same things, gyms. I think Eskezalu has a spa and I don't think Nungui Gyms has a spa. That's the only difference. In terms of activities and things to do, I think Eskezalu takes the cup. Sorry, my mouth is watering. <laughs> Eskazali definitely takes a cup and that's because one they have a spa they have a spa by the beach like it has those those ones that you see on tv like the hawaiian ones where you like you, you're in a circular thing and they're doing a massage and the thing has bamboo sticks and you can feel the ocean breeze and you can hear the ocean and you're close to the pool it is amazing so if you want to get your spa treatments on Eskazalu does have them the other thing is Eskazalu has a bigger pool than Nungu Dreams. Nungu Dreams is just a typical small pool, whereas Eskazalu's one is beautiful and it's an infinity pool going all the way to the ocean. I mean, I mean, Nungu Dreams also has an infinity pool, so I don't know. The other thing is Eskazalu has a jetty that's all the way out into the ocean, and in that jetty they have restaurants where you can try out food. I didn't try out food in the restaurants just because I think my times and the situations just didn't match, so I, ended up, I never ended up using the restaurants. On the other hand, you find that um, when we were staying at Nungu Dreams, that particular night, we had a, a barbecue dinner at the beach where we had three course meal, you know, starter, main meal and dessert on the beach. It was amazing. There was a one man, there was a one man guitar. He was playing really good music. It was amazing. The ambience, the ocean breeze, the warmth of the air. It was just amazing. So it depends on what you want to do. But now when it comes down to food, this is where I was just like, no. Let me tell you this, and I'm not even going to try and sugarcoat anything. Eskazalu has horrible, horrible, horrible times a million food. I'm not even going to waste my time. I cannot be paying 200 or $550 for that quality of food i am sorry it is horrible the cutlery is dirty it's horrible like i cannot begin to explain how pissed off i was i'm gonna give you one incident i'm a person who if the cutlery is dirty i'm not touching that food because in my mind i'm thinking you couldn't take your time to wash this cutlery so what's my food all about i remember that i asked for coffee because they don't have the coffee stations there you have to order the coffee so i ordered the coffee the first cup and i could see that somebody had just used the cups like they're not even bothered to wash the cup I'm like, hey, can you please get me a clean cup of coffee? And the guy was like, cool, he brings in the coffee. Guess what? The cup is just as dirty. It's a totally different cup, but it's dirty. It had red lipstick on. Guys, that for me, for a so-called five-star hotel, is a no-no. You do not create horrible food, and you do not give me dirty cutlery. Like, that was just, like, for me... That took everything. I don't care if everything else was perfect. For me, that is just a no-no. Like, I cannot be on a holiday and I'm here struggling to eat what you're feeding me. It was... It was bad. I mean, other than the wedding food, everything else was horrible. It was just... I could not put my head around it. But anyway. Um, in terms... But Nungu Dreams, on the other hand, everything was just 
amazing for the first time i had these fish balls like they were meatballs but made of fish i've never eaten something so amazing in my life i don't know how they made it and they had it for breakfast not even dinner they had it for breakfast it was amazing so oh in terms of food the barbecue dinner that we had in the evening the breakfast that we had i would definitely say nungui dreams for food anytime Escazalo and their food please i i know thank you overall in terms of value for money which one do i think is value for money now for me everything so far has pointed to nungi dreams but i think different people look for different things there are people if a place has does not have a spa then that place is a waste of their time and of their money on the other hand there's people like me if the food is bad then i'm just not giving you any points like that our relationship just ends there gone done so it depends on what it is that you're looking for if you're looking for an intimate good time nice ambience nice atmosphere i'd say go to nungi dreams if you're looking to party and you have so much money to just waste i would suggest go to um Escazalo because they have more of an entertaining it's a bit more of a young people area whereas nungi dreams was there was more older people um in the surrounding areas so yeah guys that's just my entire thought you can take whatever you want to take from this i'm not gonna make it so finalized personally you guys know i'm biased i mean that food situation just flipped me i'm a foodie and i love my food and if you just mess it up for me it just breaks my heart that you have an opportunity to create you know to show people a new culture in terms of food and you just mess it up i was so pissed off but yeah that's that <laughs> um so let me know guys have you been to any of these um hotels what was your view did you like it did you enjoy it what's your thought do you think what i said if you've been to them has been accurate let me know guys i would be interested if you've watched all the way up until here thank you so much for watching i really do thank you and i'll see you on my next video until next time bye bye Turn, let's be stupid just you me in the night the one thing we should know that we got plenty of time